hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for joining today thank you if you are new here please consider subscribing all right and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload um, a new video you will be able to watch all right thank you so much for that and uh, in today's video i'm going to be talking about uh, proof of funds to study in finland yeah um, but before i talk about the proof of funds to study in finland I would also like you to know where Finland is. Finland is a, a country in Northern Europe, all right? It is a country in Northern Europe and share borders with Sweden, Russia, Norway, and uh, of course, uh, Estonia, all right? And Finland is a country of uh, about 5.5 uh, million or plus inhabitants, all right? With their main language, the Finn, the Finnish, which is uh, spoken amongst the Finns, all right? The Finns are the people living in Finland. And uh, so, I want to also uh, draw your attention that uh, its capital is the Helsinki, and Helsinki is the Helsinki is the most uh, populated um, city in Finland. All right. So um, though Finland is uh, found in Northern Europe and is very cool, a lot of international students still move to Finland to to get a degree program because uh, of uh, their universities, their degrees, their highly qualified degrees that. Uh, let me say, if you get a degree from Finland or from a Finnish university, it is going to be recognized all over the world, all right? So Finland has a lot of uh, characteristics, a lot of uh, good vibes, all right, as international students move there. But know that before you study in Finland, you need a proof of funds. Before, Finland was uh, tuition-free, but uh, nowadays, in now as I speak, in 2020, it is not tuition fee and there are certain requirements which i'm going to talk about on the channel all right um on the other youtube channel i will link it down in the video description so basically i will be talking about the proof of funds in this video now the proof of funds to study in finland is uh, somehow not complicated uh, let me just go straight to the point for example if you get uh, a degree program or uh, an admissions to study a bachelor's degree in Finland, know that you are going to show proof of funds, all right? And uh, the proof of funds you are going to be providing, for example, it has to cover your tuition fee for one year and every other thing, all right? For you to apply for the residence permit or your student visa, but it's uh, preferable you call it a residence permit. Someone asked me, um, is it a student visa or residence permit? It is called a residence permit, all right? When you go to some embassies, they will call it a student visa, but it is the residence permit. So know that. And um, for you to do the, 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 the proof of funds to apply for your residence permit, first of all, for Finnish universities, let's assume you are a bachelor's degree student and your tuition fee is 6,000 euros a year, all right? Because um, universities in Finland, their tuition fee range from 6,000 euros to like 10,000, 11, 12, or 13,000 maximum, all right? And you sometimes you may get the advantage of applying for a scholarship or you may get a scholarship but I will talk about that later on so if you are uh, if you want to do your let me say proof of funds or your bank statement or whatsoever this is what you need to know if your tuition fee is uh, let's assume that is 6,000 euros a year all right and uh, your accommodation money is uh, 350 400 or 500 euros a year Multiply your accommodation money. All right, let's just assume that everything your accommodation you're feeding is going to sum up to to like uh, 550 euros a month. All right, multiply 550 times 12, which is one year, then you add it to 6,000 euros. All right, I hope um, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. Do that, that is what you need to know. All right, you have to multiply your accommodation money, your feeding money. All, sum it all let's assume it is 550 euros like I said before then you multiply that money by one year which is 12 months you get a total you add it to your tuition fee all right for one year let's say your tuition fee is uh, 6,000 euros all right 6,000 euros is your tuition fee for one year then times your feeding and accommodation money 550 times 12 you sum the money together you are going to get something like uh, around um, 12,000 euros so basically if you are a student or an international student who intend to study in Finland 
make sure you get 12,000 euros or we'll be ready to do uh, yeah let me say your proof of funds should be at least 12,000 euros all right it is very okay for you to to apply for your residence payment when you get a proof of fund like this or amounting to this you should uh, use it to apply for your residence permit i hope we we understand and we enjoy this video it's going to be a very short video but i'm going to be bringing up more updates all right in the days ahead and please if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell all right so that whenever i upload a new video like this you are going to watch thank you so much guys and until we meet again peace